Hey guys, it's me, Reptile Guy Seven One Three. Um, uh, uh, I just want to tell you, I'll show you an update on the hog nose and how she's doing. And she, yeah, this about her since I haven't made any real videos about her. Um, I made a feeding video. I kind of deleted it when I was about to put it on YouTube. I was deleting other videos and uh, I accidentally deleted it. So I didn't get to show you all that, but it was cool because she ate from the butt first instead of head first. So it was a pretty cool thing to see. I have that on Facebook. So if you like to go add me on Facebook, it's Michael Nino, N I N O, M I C H A E L. Um, and uh, some more news is um, over here the hedgehog has passed. She's, yeah, she, I don't know what happened, but I found her yesterday and she was um, dead. So I'm going to show you all the hog nose right now. Ooh, and she ran out of water and there's a lot of bedding in there. I have her in a six quart starlight tub with this little hide. Um, and this water bowl. There she is. Yeah, she's really hissy. Oh, look at that. She's hooding up. It's okay, girl. Let me see. Nice black belly. Uh, she's she's really cool. I mean, she's not the nicest snake. Yeah, um, she, she, yeah, they hood up most of the, of the time as you have a hog nose baby, they're usually going to do this, strike and hood up, try to poke through that little nose over there, but they usually, they usually will never bite, and um, they strike with their mouth closed, so that's a good thing, uh, she has a bit of a temperament, but after a while she'll calm down and then she'll probably just start hissing up at you again, yeah, see that, that's okay, sure. She's really nice though, and I like her. Oh, oh my gosh. Oops, somebody just freaked out there and then... Sorry, oh my, oh my gosh, sorry so much. I got it from Thomas the Snake Man in Houston. Um, he's a really cool, he's a good friend of mine. I've known him for about two or three years now. It's a really nice belly. Really loves hog noses ever since I first seen one. I first seen one on beach on um, Snake Bikes TV, and um, I've always wanted one since. And I've seen one at, from Thomas and asked him about buy it. I told him I would buy it later on. And I uh, saw he had this female, so I bought her. Really nice, really cool. So yeah, she's she's really cool. Put her back. So move on to the guy. Put your height. Let me put your, let me put your height first. It's okay. Oh, yeah. My, my holes. Not so professional holes, but whatever. Um. Wow, I'm going to wipe it on my bed. Uh, um, oh, right here. I got this. The May issue of Reptiles Magazine. And that's the old, 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 old. This is from 1994. It's uh, pretty awesome. This the magazine, I want to show you something though. Um, Jamie Garino or whatever. I already say his last name. Um, Snake Hunters. If you don't have them, um, as a friend, but his daughter did this for him. She sent a picture in, and there's James C. Jane. And then go to Facebook, you know, that comes to Snake Hunters. You can see their page and add him as a friend. Um, so, yeah, that's how I kind of met him. And there's, you know, Ken Patch and whatnot. And then a couple of ghosts, tortoises, have babies. They're so cute. I want one. Too bad I can't have one. Yeah, they're right there mating. That's pretty cool. Uh, and one thing, there's the eggs of her laying down. I only give me some more of my, all my new poster from it. It's a chameleon. Yeah. This is six. That's the six horned chameleon. Then there's the rough scaled python. Mm. This, what not. That's where the poster was at. There's that. So yeah, I'm planning on getting some poison dart frogs if I don't get this on Silky uh, Beard Dragon this weekend. So if I 
If I do, I'm probably gonna get some poison dart frogs. So y'all yeah, might be able to look forward to that. Yeah, and there's all this and whatnot. Uh, pink tongue skinks. So yeah, guys. Um, I'm Reptile Guy Seven One Three. Uh, hope you like the video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.